Hello, Story Wilson with RSWSolutions.com. This is the Allcoms version 2 software and hardware tool that I designed and I manufacture and distribute. Only RSWSolutions.com is the is a legal and legitimate distributor of this software tool. So let's get started. Today we're going to go over some of the steps to work with the steering angle sensor in the L322 Range Rover vehicle. This is a critical component. Uh, it's used in both the ABS system, which uh, includes the dynamic stability control system, and the other system is the air suspension. Uh, there are a couple other systems that use the steering angle sensor data, but those are the two primary ones that will go into fault if there is an issue with the steering angle sensor. Now, to compound matters, the steering angle sensor also uh, needs to be recalibrated every time the vehicle loses power. So please see my video on that procedure. It is how to reset the L322 Range Rover steering angle sensor. That is a key procedure that every owner needs to know how to perform because it must be performed every time the battery has been disconnected in the vehicle or you have a serious battery drain issue. But these sensors can go wrong and, and they do fail. When they fail you need to replace them. It's actually pretty simple to replace. It's a it's a complicated. I mean, it, it, it's a it's it's easy access in the vehicle. You just have to disassemble some of the uh, cosmetic panels around the steering column, and in the at the base of the steering column there is a small donut-shaped black plastic sensor, and it can simply be uh, just removed and replaced. But it, once it's replaced, you have to recode it to the vehicle. You have to reprogram your vehicle to accept this new sensor. And so we're going to show you today how to do that with the Allcom software. So some of the tools, and there are also some tools here to communicate with the steering angle sensor. The first thing I would do is I would try to communicate with the steering angle sensor module. Here it is. And now it's the same for all modules. This procedure to communicate, you open communications. And you can see here we have transmit and receive and we're linked. We have data that's already come back. We read the faults, takes a couple seconds, and then we can clear the faults. Now, we move on, once you've cleared the faults, and you have an operational sensor, and, uh, and you also, hey, you've, you've calibrated, you've made sure it's calibrated, you can also see live data from that sensor. So we click on the steering angle sensor, and we can um, collect live data to monitor the condition or the output to see what the output is. So we get our data, and this will start polling, querying the steering angle sensor. Now if we move our steering wheel, you'll see this value change ever so slightly. And if you're getting a good output here, well, chances are you got a pretty good sensor. And maybe the problem is somewhere else. So, this is very, very useful for trying to diagnose if you have a bad sensor or a sensor that is on its way out. Uh, so let's go ahead and stop the data. Now, this data was also, simultaneously at the same time, was streamed to a log file. And you will be able to view those log files and inspect the graph data. And here's our graph data we just did on uh, December 7th, 2013. You can open it up and this is the raw data, data point for data point, that we moved through just there that you just saw on the screen. And you could take this raw data and graph it out in perhaps a different, a different data, a data, data management application like Excel uh, and you could get a better graph that you could inspect and look for look for problems in the, in the, in the data. But that's just uh, something some people may like to do. Now, if you replace your steering angle sensor, you need to have it recoded. So let's work on that. In the change settings module, you have the steering angle sensor. Now, recoding the steering angle sensor is <laughs> actually quite simple. You simply open communications, and you have transmit and receive. Now, you also have data that came back, so we're connected. This is data that came back from the sensor. And here's, here's some quick, quick steps here, but you just simply open communications, code the steering angle sensor, and wait. It's actually a pretty lengthy recoding procedure. Um, 
and then you um, simply close the procedure. That's it. Now the steering angle sensor has just been recoded to the vehicle, but you're not done yet. You have to recalibrate the steering angle sensor using these steps listed below. It's a very simple procedure. Please see the video again. It's already on my website to reset the steering angle sensor. But you center the, the steering wheel as closely as you possibly can to center. Start the vehicle. In a, in a continuous and purposeful movement, turn the steering wheel full to right lock, all the way back through center to full left lock. Return the steering wheel to as close to center as you possibly can. And you have to do this very quickly, immediately after the engine has started. That's pretty much it. Once that's complete, then you should be able to go into the live data, the steering angle sensor. You should be able to pull and query the steering angle sensor and get data back from it. If you're not getting data back from the steering angle sensor, typically it hasn't been uh, calibrated properly. If, if it hasn't been calibrated properly, the, the data will appear just to, to flatline it. It, it. it won't respond to the steering column movements. So then you'll need to re recalibrate. And if the first time you run through the calibration procedure doesn't, doesn't succeed, try it again and try it again. Because sometimes it's, just, it's difficult, to all, there's some timing issues, and just get it all down. Sometimes it takes a couple tries. So thanks for watching this video. Again, that's rswsolutions.com. This is the Allcoms version 2 software. The previous versions do not have these functions. So thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.